Hey fellow warriors, Mobius Y here with a brief video for those who are new to For Honor. The purpose of this video is to help newer players getting started when playing the game for the first time, or close to it. Now don't get me wrong, I am not even close to an expert at this game either, as I still suck at it quite badly. However, by following my own advice in this video, I was able to learn a little more quickly how to suck a little less than normal. Hopefully for you, it will do the same. Now, when you start for honor for the first time, you'll have to pick your online faction to fight for in the online faction war. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted to customize your emblem, and upon completing it, you'll be thrown right into practice mode. This basic tutorial would teach you the core elements behind For Honor's battle system. How to execute different attacks, blocking, dodging, guard breaks, and throws. Once you complete practice mode, you'll be given a hefty reward, so it's a good idea to go through it even if you already know the basics. After practice mode, you can continue into advanced practice. Here you'll practice more responsive actions, such as stopping enemy guard breaks, parrying enemy attacks, and blocking attacks from multiple opponents. To finish off advanced practice, you'll learn how to activate Revenge Mode. Now upon completing advanced practice, you'll be given another decent reward of steel, which is the game's currency. You're free to save it or spend it as you will. Note that at any time during these practice sessions, you can quit out of them by pressing start and choosing quit practice. This can bypass the practice sessions altogether, even if it is your first time playing for honor. After advanced practice, you can return to the main menu or jump into free mode practice. This practice mode lets you run around the battlefield at will and practice what you have learned so far until you decide to quit it out of it. If your hero dies in this mode, it simply reloads and starts back up again. If you skip the practice sessions or would simply like to do them again, you can access them from the main menu under the play tab and choose how to play. Once the practice modes are complete, you can start to learn more detailed aspects of your hero, such as their move sets. A good way to practice and learn your chosen warrior's moves is in dual practice. This mode is also under the how to play section. Before starting a dual practice, you must choose a level of difficulty from the AI bot you will face. If you're just learning the game or simply want to test out a new hero's moves, you can set the bot level to zero. This will cause the bot to simply approach you without attacking, blocking, or performing any kinds of actions. It's a great way to practice your hero's different moves. In order to study your hero's specific skills though, you'll have to investigate their move set. Simply open the pause menu with start and select move set. In this screen you can see your hero's specific attacks and abilities on the right hand side, as well as the buttons to execute them. If the symbols next to the list of moves appear confusing at first, you can check the icon legend by holding left trigger if you're on Xbox. This will open a screen depicting what each symbol means next to your hero's list of abilities. After studying your hero's move set, you can spend as much time as you like testing them out on the unresponsive bot. Once you have familiarized yourself with your hero's moves, you can start another dual practice at bot level 1. This will cause the enemy AI bot to perform actions such as attacks, blocks, and guard breaks, allowing you to keep practicing your moves with a more lifelike opponent. Keep in mind that you can still increase the bot levels to 2 or 3 if you wish the AI bot to behave more skillfully. One final thing you can do to learn your new hero's abilities is view the hero fight videos. Simply open them under the How to Play section again and view both the basic and advanced videos pertaining to your hero class. These videos give a pretty good idea of how you'll want to execute your warrior's abilities and utilize them to good effect in battles. You can also view the basic and advanced hero fighting videos pertaining to other warrior classes if you wish to learn how they are expected to be played and how you can possibly counter them with your own warrior. Now before we go, there's a few tips I'd like to give that aren't necessarily mentioned in game. The first one is about ladders. When descending down a ladder, you can hold the B button to slide down much more quickly. This will also knock off any enemies beneath you. On many maps, there's ledges that your character won't automatically jump down from. To jump down, you'll have to manually press the dodge button at the top of the ledge. 
Note that depending on the height of the ledge, this will damage your hero. You can also press the heavy attack button at the top of these ledges to execute a deadly attack while leaping down. Be aware of your surroundings and use such ledges to your advantage. It might not necessarily be honorable, but you can use them to help you win a battle. One last thing, don't forget to dance like an idiot whenever you win a round. Thanks for watching and I hope this advice is helpful to you, especially if you're new to For Honor. If you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to let me know in the comments below. This is Mobius Y, signing off. Have a wonderful night.